Hi, I'm Kwame Usukesi, CEO of the Harlem Children's Zone, and I want to talk to you a little bit about our national COVID-19 response. COVID-19 is a multi-dimensional threat that has been plaguing communities of color all across this nation. Already we have seen the health and economic toll that the pandemic has taken. And now on top of that, we're seeing the seeds of inequity being sowed for future generations between the haves and have-nots, all due to the lack of access to the bare essentials. That is why we're leading a national effort that will impact seven cities, Oakland, Minneapolis, Chicago, Detroit, Newark, Atlanta, and New York City. And our partners, our amazing partners on the ground in those cities are adopting a five-pronged approach that we developed on the ground in Harlem to fit their community context. And one of the key levers of that strategy is bridging the digital divide. We believe that internet should be a fundamental right and that all school-aged children should have access to the proper learning device at home so that they can continue their education. Already, we have seen students losing up to a year of school and at risk of losing more due to not having access to the proper digital tools to continue to enhance their learning. This weekend, we're at our school in the center of St. Nicholas Housing Development, distributing hundreds of laptops to our community. Today's distribution was made possible through our partnership with Strive Together and the Take on Race Initiative. I particularly want to thank Baron Witherspoon and Procter & Gamble for their seed investment in this initiative and encouraging corporations to follow suit. And while today will impact the, the lives of so many, there's still so much more work to be done. There's still so much more need across this nation, and we need to step up to the plate and deliver for our communities. So we are encouraging corporations to step up and make an investment in this initiative because that will equip us with the resources to get the job done. And while the task ahead of us may be daunting, I have certainly not lost hope. And with your support, we will be able to save our communities and ultimately help save this nation. Thank you.